Bear, and you're watching Fight Mike MMA. Mike Placentia, Fight Mike MMA. We're here with West Coast Fighting Championship and El Nino fighter, Josh Berkovich. You're fighting West Coast Fighting Championship 12 coming up, man. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Uh, having a tremendous training camp with my team, and uh, I'm ready to go right now, you know, but we're about three weeks out, so I'll definitely be ready on November 15th. It looks like your opponents changed from one guy to this guy to that guy, man. Now you're fighting Michael Christensen. Yeah. Tell us what happened, how that happened. Yeah, you know, it's part of the game. It's part of the game. Um, I'm always ready, you know, uh, to fight whoever's going to be in front of me. I know the date that I'm going to fight, and I know it's my job to keep myself healthy. That's part of being great in the sport is, is to keep yourself healthy and ready to perform. And uh, But it's something to expect, um, definitely for all you up-and-coming fighters out there. It happens all the time, especially at this level of the game. Your opponent might pull out, you might get injured, different things happen. So I had uh, two opponents pull out, you know, um, but... For me, they're in the past. They're in the rearview mirror, and uh, right now I got Mike Christensen in front of me. You know, he's a, a veteran, really, of the sport. Uh, this will be his 20th pro fight, and uh, he's a tough kid, so I'm getting ready for him. So you're recently on the Ultimate Fighting uh, show with Gil Melendez, one of his coaches. Is there anything you can say about that? Yeah, it was an amazing experience for me, um, both as an athlete and uh, and as a coach. You know, I was a coach on the show, so as an athlete, just um, being surrounded with uh, the training partners that I had, you know, with... Uh, as you said, obviously Gilbert Melendez, who was the head coach of Team Melendez, uh, but also Jake Shields, um, who's a training partner here with me, um, and Nate Diaz came out with us as well, you know, and so we, we go and cross train over in Lodi a lot uh, with Nick and Nate, but it was great to have Nate as a daily training partner, uh, as well as Crone Gracie came out and spent about uh, three weeks with us out there, so um, just a tremendous uh, learning experience for me as an athlete. And then as a coach, um, watching these girls uh, face the toughest competition in the world, go through one of the toughest tournaments in the world, definitely at their weight class for women's MMA, 115 pounds. This was bar none the toughest bracket that anyone could be in because they scoured the world for the toughest uh, women fighters at 115 pounds. So to watch these girls rise to the challenge and to see what differentiated uh, the top girls, in my opinion, you know, the, the, the top six girls in the world that were on the show, I think they all could have beaten each other. Um, but it was interesting to see uh, what characteristics and what drove some people to succeed and, and uh, what, what uh, cause others to come up short. So that was just an amazing experience as a coach to see that and a, and a learning experience as an athlete, you know, to see that. There's a lot of uh, fighters that are on the West Coast Fighting Championship roster that are being looked at. Some of them have UFC implications. And I can imagine you being the champion with your reputation. Do you have that on your mind, man? Like, I mean, you're defending your belt on this next one. Is UFC, like, how close is that, you think? I'm hoping that it's very close. You know, I've been working my tail off. I have a great camp, a great team. Um, if you look at my record, uh, I'm 5-0 and with four finishes in my last four fights. I've been taking these guys out. I come to fight every time. I come to bring it. Um, I, I've got great exposure. You know, I keep getting better. So, uh, yeah, I'll be looking to stamp a, stamp a great performance on, on this next fight, and then, uh, and then hopefully that'll be enough, you know. Um, for, for the UFC or a bigger promotion to grab me up. My goal is to get to the UFC. That's a dream of mine and, and I'm working towards it every day. Um, if for some reason this win um, isn't enough to get me there, I'm still hungry. I'll take another fight. I'll do whatever it never needs to be done. But right now I think that, uh, that I'm doing everything that I can. I'm finishing these guys. I'm fighting the best guys in my region. I'm taking on all challengers. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping and I'm praying. Hopefully this one will be the one. You have this real Zen energy about you, man. And you just mentioned to me that you do yoga. I, I, I can see that probably has something to do with it for the fighters out there that are not doing stuff like yoga to really calm like your energy. Tell us like the real benefit that you feel that you're getting from that. Sure. Um, my yoga practice is great. You know, I've been practicing uh, a lot of Ashtanga Vinyasa yoga um, with Devora Sachs and in the Mission um, at Ashtanga Yoga in the Mission, and uh, it's been a fantastic experience for me. You know, uh, for me it really balances me in a lot of ways. Um, and, and especially with a sport like fighting, I think you, you need to find something that is going to balance you, that's going to be an outlet, that's going to allow you to, um, you know, balance out the force of wh whatever it is you're doing. There's a lot of pounding on the body, 
in in uh, in our sport. So obviously you want to find something that can be therapeutic for you. Some people like swimming. You know, some people like uh, swimming. Some people like um, jet skiing, water skiing. Some people do different things to relax. For me, yoga is fantastic. Uh, it balances me out, um, it strengthens and lengthens my muscles, um, increases the mobility and the strength of my hips and my shoulders, the mobility of my spine. So it's making me a better athlete. But more importantly, I think. Uh, balancing you know my mind my bodies my my emotion and uh it, yeah it's just it's great for me i couldn't see myself without it all right man i know you're trying to get some of your tickets probably sold so people go on to the west coast website or any social media man how can they punch in your name so they can buy tickets off of you sure um you can contact me on uh, on facebook at joshua allen allen's my middle name you can also find me on instagram at josh berkovich all one word j-o-s-h B as in boy, E-R-K-O, V as in Victor, I-C, Josh Berkovich on Instagram. Yeah, reach out to me, contact me, no problem. Um, there's also a promo code on uh, the West Coast Fighting Championship site. So if you go onto the site and you buy a ticket, they'll ask you which fighter you want to sponsor. Um, and yeah, please select yours truly. I would love for you guys to come out on the um, on November 15th in Sacramento at the McClellan Convention Center to see my fight. I promise a great performance. I always deliver. I'm training my butt off for this fight and uh, I'm, I'm ready to go. So you can buy tickets for me directly um, here at El Nino Training Center or uh, when you buy um, tickets on the West Coast Fighting Championship uh, site, you can go ahead and then select me as a fighter that you'd like to sponsor. Alright guys, you get all the info. November 15th, come watch the champ. He's going to be fighting. He's El Nino. I'm Fight Mike. This is Jock Zerkovich. It's not a good thing to have sexual intercourse before a fight. I know it's something a lot of people don't talk about. What do you think about that? Um, at the way that I look at things, I try to always look at them, you know, pretty scientifically for myself. 